Let us solve another problem on code optimization. This problem came in the GET exam 2006. Very interesting problem this one. Consider the following C programming code. So, one C programming code has been given. Okay. So, for, uh, consider the following C code segment and the code is here like this for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. For j is equal to 0, j less than n, j plus plus. If i mod 2, then x plus equal to this expression 4 star j plus 5 into i and y plus is equal to 7 plus 4 star j and so on. So, there is a code, the sample code given. Which of the following statement is false? So, that means they are asking which statement is false. Okay, let me go one by one. The code contains loop invariant computation. I shall have to find out whether any loop invariant computation here is uh, in this particular code is present or not. See in the outer loop we are having i as the control variable loop control variable. So, in this particular code this i will remain fixed for a certain iteration. So, this i in the inner loop which is for the control variable j is loop invariant variable loop invariant. So, I am going for loop invariant computation. So, i percentage 2 and 5 star i these two are loop invariant computation. We can do that one outside of the j loop also. So, whether the what is the value of i mod 2 can be done here and value of 5 star i is also loop invariant. So, that will be that should be done here only. So, we are having two cases. So, I am just uh, marking this one that is i percentage 2 and 5 star i. Okay. So, that is the part. Next one, the code contains loop invariant computation I have done. So, it is not false, it is true. Here you see we are having 4 star j and 4 star j. These two expressions are same. So, that is the finite scope of eliminating these common sub expression. So, one is 4 star j, another one is 4 star j. So, 4 star j, 4 star j can be eliminated as common sub expression. So, finite scope is there. So, this particular statement is correct, is true. Okay, next one. There is a scope of strength reduction in this code. There is a scope of strength reduction in this code. Now, see one thing here the value of i is getting increased by 1 and here the value of j is getting increased by 1. Just consider this particular one that is 5 star i. This 5 star i you see here i is increasing by 1 and here the this 5 star i is getting increased by 5 each and every time. So, this 5 star i can be written in this way. It's my suggestion is that so my suggestion is that we will be writing x plus equal to p and p plus equal to 5 and before entering into this loop I shall make p is equal to 0. I shall make p is equal to 0. So that is my um, suggestion. That means this 5 star i you see i is getting incremented by 1 here and here it is getting incremented by each time 5. So, it is better to write this code that is before entering into this loop I shall make p is equal to 0 and then x plus equal to p I shall be writing and p plus equal to 5 it will go on incrementing by 5. So, in this way we are replacing this star 5 star i x plus equal to 5 star i you are replacing this star by this addition operation. So, as a result of that there is a scope of strength reduction in the code is also true. There is a scope of dead code elimination in this code. I am not finding any dead code here. I am not finding any dead code which is not getting executed, not reachable or something like that. I am not finding any such dead code. So, this particular statement is false. So, my answer will be option number D. So, whenever such program segment will be given in any language, maybe Java or C or what about the case study or maybe in the algorithmic form also it should be very much very much uh, an analytic rather i should say 
and see that what are the loop invariant computations, what are the common sub expressions which can be eliminated and if there is such case that a variable is getting incremented by 1, but it is getting multiplied by 5 to add it to, to use that one as a sub expression to another expression. So, whether there is some scope of any some strength reduction, so you should be very much analytic and accordingly you should solve this problem. So, in this particular case my option will be D. Thanks for watching this video.